Okay, I am back with another review. Um, I just did a Monopoly review and I'm kind of tired a little bit, but I have all these cards and I have to open up. I try to open up at least one box per day. <laughs> but um, this is 1990 Fleer football. And um, we are going to open up this whole box and let's jump right into it. And um, I am going to try to finish this as quick as possible here. I'm not going to. Oh, there's a there's a keeper. Uh, Joe Montana and Jerry Rice card. I'm not going to keep all these cards. That's why um, the only ones I'm going to keep is like Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice. Bo Jackson. I know these cards aren't worth a whole lot of money, but I'm just keeping the, my favorite players. Um, hold on, let me let me zoom down in here so the camera won't be blurry. Oh, speak of the devil, Jerry Rice. Look at that. So that's two Jerry Rice cards. Oh my goodness, that last review. I just did a review on the Harley Davidson Monopoly. So if you haven't watched that video, <laughs> go check it out. <laughs> I just wore myself out doing that video. But anyway, oh, Warren Moon. I like Warren Moon also, so I'm going to keep him. Uh, oh, these cards are upside down and all around. I didn't expect Fleer to be like that. Andre Risen. When he played with the Colts. And Andre Ryzen uh, used to date Left Eye. <laughs> Just a little fun fact. And she burnt her house down. Anyway, uh, Vinny Testarotti. Oh, Emmett Smith. I'm looking for Emmett Smith and Troy Aikman also. Oh, there's a Steve Young. I'll be holding on to him. Uh, is Brett Favre in this? I can't remember if Brett Favre is in here. I don't think he is. I think he was in the update set. Uh, Deion Sanders. And, um... I think I paid like five dollars for this box. It's hard to pay ten dollars for wax boxes like these, especially off of eBay. So I got this at a card show or something. But um, it's hard to pay ten dollars. Oh, there's a Thurman Thomas. Um, it's hard to pay ten dollars for a wax box like this simply because you're not going to get ten dollars worth of cards in here, or you'll. Well, you might get ten. I'll take that back. I'm sure it's a couple dollar cards in here like the Barry Sanders and all them. So you ten I, I I definitely couldn't do there's Randall Cunningham. That's a good card. I definitely couldn't do like fifteen or twenty, definitely not that, but at the most ten dollars. I remember when I started collecting these cards, um these cards of course was worth more in their prime, but I didn't get all the ones that I wanted. I didn't. I know I didn't get enough Barry Sanders. I know I got a few Barry Sanders, but I didn't get as many as I wanted. And that's the main player that I want out of here is the Barry Sanders. There's a Marcus Allen. I'll hold on to him. So what I'm basically doing is just taking out all the good cards that I want and all the cards that I'm going to sell. And I do sell like some of the stars like Dan Marino and John Elway and them I'll sell them because I don't really care for those too much but uh, back in this time I was a 49er 49er fan so uh, these are turned upside down here Daryl Green, Steve Atwater Bill Bates. Alright, who 
who else we got in here? And I believe I have like um, three or four more of these boxes. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, buddy. It's an all pro right there. See, that car might be worth a dollar or 50 cent or something. Chris Doman, Mark Duper. Christian Okoye, he used to be, uh, Nick, his nickname was the Nigerian Nightmare. <laughs> I remember that dude. Okay, Chet Brooks, Bobby Humphreys, is that two Bobby Humphrey cards? It sure is. Now I wonder if that's, is that the same Bobby Humphreys? No, it can't be. And I don't think he had a brother. I have to look and see when they're born. Yeah, one one went to college at Alabama and the other one went to New Mexico State. Okay, I'll look into that later. Uh Vasikahima. I remember him. I used to just like his name. There's a Chris Carter in the back. Vasikahima. You gotta love that name. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I think the most valuable card in here is... Oh, it's a Junior Seau in here, I believe. There's a Jeff George. See, I'll sell him. And a Troy Aikman. See, I'll sell those. I won't be keeping those. So what I what I normally do is open up like five boxes and put all the cards that I am gonna sell so so I won't be selling like one Troy Aikman and you know at least you get like three or four Troy Aikmans or whatever or or put them all in the same lot. There's Sterling Sharp. That's a good card. He was one of my favorite receivers, wide receivers, next to uh, Jerry Rice, of course. Okay, there's John Elway. I'll sell him. I don't want to keep John Elway. But these cards are in excellent condition, considering how old they are. And who do we have in here? Tom Worley. That's the um, ESPN dude, Tom Worley. And who is this? Keith Millard. And then there's Barry Sanders, the one I really wanted. So I got the regular Barry Sanders card and his All Pro. And then there's Don Majowski. He used to be. Um, Don Majowski used to be worth some back back in the day. That card used to be worth like two or three dollars. Not anymore though. Percy Snow, I remember him. His car used to be worth a nice little penny. Uh, Richard Johnson, Michael Irvin. It's funny, you know, I used to hate the Cowboys, but now I collect them. I collect the 90s Cowboys. The, the 90s. The cocaine Cowboys, <laughs> as they used to call them. <laughs> Uh, I see Icky Woods on the back. Icky Woods, the Icky Shuffle. Oh, there's a uh, Rod Woodson. Okay. Scott Norwood. You gotta love Scott Norwood. Them Buffalo Bills, boy. <laughs> okay, there's the Icky Woods. Buffalo Bill fans, boy. I would not want to be a Buffalo Bill fan in the 90s. Boy, y'all had it rough. Okay. Uh, Chris Spielman. Richard Dent. Did I already get a Jerry? Yeah, I got a Jerry Rice already. So I need a Bo Jackson and a Joe Montana. That would be nice. 
Okay, uh, I don't know these folks. Tom Tazask, Tazak, or whatever. That was the, um, the, um, Chicago Bears quarterback. Byron Evans, Anthony Carter. He wasn't too bad. Not gonna keep him, but. Here, Art Monk. I always wanted, I think I have an Art Monk rookie card. It's not in good shape, but I think I do have an Art Monk rookie card. Art Monk used to be the man, boy. <clears throat> uh, Perry Kemp. I remember Perry Kemp. Herschel Walker. Lawrence Taylor. When is Lawrence Taylor's rookie year? 83 was the first year that he played in. Okay. And looky, looky, looky. Right there on the front. Bo Jackson. I can't say he 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 was the best running back because <laughs> his season, his career, and there's there's a Joe Montana. This is a hot pack right here. His um season, not his season. Well, I want to say his football career got cut short. Oh, Blair Thomas, that used to be the card right there. He was a good um, running back also. Um, Bo Jackson's whole career, his whole football career got cut short thanks to the Bengals. But, um, he was just running over everybody. Okay. Bernie Kozar. Tom Rathman. Gary Clark. That was another wide receiver on the, um... On the um, Washington Redskins. Alright, we're almost done with this box here. This is a nice box. See, I don't mind paying $5 for what I've gotten so far. There's Jim Kelly. I don't mind paying uh, $5. There's another Warren Moon card. I believe that's two Warren Moons that I got. Because like I said, you're not going to get... It's no use of paying $20. 15 is out of the question. 20 is definitely out of the question. It's no use of paying that much money for um, these wax boxes. Because like I said, you're not going to get $20 worth of cards. I guarantee you that. There's Randall Cunningham. Unless, unless the cards have like sentimental value, you know, to when you started collecting or whatever. Which kind of has that effect on me. I am a uh, 90s. I started collecting in the 90s. So I, I have a lot of 90s. There's the damn arena. I have a, a lot of 90s cards in my collection. And a Ronnie Lott. I love to have a Ronnie Lott rookie. When is his rookie year? 83. That's the same as... um. Lawrence Taylor. I'm going to look their cards up. I'm going to try to get some of their rookie cards. And let's take these out. Push the box back a little bit. Those were solid players back in my day, boy. Ronnie Lott, Lawrence Taylor. Ooh, Andre Aware. That used to be a good card, too. It's just funny how... Over a period of time, these cards just fall off the face of the earth. And then there's another All-Pro all card. Carl Meckenberg. Some cards appreciate and then some just fall off the face of the earth. Most of them fall off the face of the earth, so it is what it is.
Okay, we are getting down. Looks like I have maybe like six more packs. Okay, those were all upside down. Um, I don't know. There's another Andre Raisin. That Junior Seau card. And see there, these Bob, these Bobby Humphrey cards. <laughs> they always come in pairs. <laughs> That's crazy. They come in pairs. And then we got Vasikahima again. Uh oh, I'm dropping cards over here. Nate Newton. Marcus Allen again. I'll be keeping that one. Okay, I got three, four, four more packs. Rodney Pete, quarterback. Merrill Hodge, okay. We are getting down to the end of this. So the only card I haven't gotten is the Emmett Smith. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna get an Emmett Smith. So there's Chris Miller. There's uh Rod Woodson again. Scott Norwood again. Okay, I got one more pack after this one. Bernie Blades. Or Benny Blades. I said Bernie. <laughs> uh, there's a Chris Carter. N another Dan Marino cart. Steve Berline. Uh, this is the last pack. Um, Sterling Sharp. I'll keep Sterling. And Phil Sims. So, that is 1990 Fleer football. And I will see you in the next review.